Hello there. I thought I'd address why I'm doing this and why, as Jehovah's Witnesses in general, do YouTube videos. It's not to demean the religion. It's not to promote their own beliefs. It's not to do harm to the religion itself or anything of that nature. It's not self-serving. It is a means at which the community as a whole, because there are a bunch of ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, there's support groups that deal with this sort of thing. It's to basically help people who are fading and excommunicated, disfellowshipped, and when I say Paul or disfellowship or any word that isn't rightly understood, like disfellowshipping, the Amish are a perfect example. When you are disfellowshipped, you are shunned. It, it, that is what it is. It is a shunning. They will not talk to you. They will not address you. They will, they will look through you. They will make it to where you feel bad about yourself for whatever reason. For whatever reason they deem necessary to even do a judicial committee with you sitting here and an elder here, an elder here, an elder here, always male, always usually older, and the elders are people who are in good standing that are in an authoritative state in the congregation. There's members, there's elders, there's overseers, there's circuit overseers, and then there's the seven kings of the governing body. And then there's Jesus, and then there's Jehovah, which the hierarchy is another matter. They blur that as well. But the reason they, the ex Jehovah's Witnesses, do these sorts of videos is to help people understand what's happening to them. To help to understand why it's wrong. And if you feel like there's something wrong and something doesn't sit with you that you think is incorrect or uh, a false teaching, then it's okay to go and voice that to other people. That's okay. Because, trust me, there are other people with the same exact thing happening to them that's happening to you. Like, okay, this shirt, for example. I know that in their rules, you are supposed to dress cleanly and neatly, and no beard, no 
really long hair for a male. So, yeah, I'm just going to, yeah. So if I was to go and be in good standing, and by that I mean having a decent knowledge of the Bible, their Bible, the silver shank, and go along with their teachings and not question anything outside of the religion. If I were to go in, as I am right now, there would be people who would ask me, well, why don't you shave your beard? Or why don't you cut your hair? Or why don't you wear something different? Uh, because this right here, uh, anything that is outside of the religion is deemed evil because they are the one true religion. So everything they say is correct. You do not question anything outside of the religion. Otherwise you are deemed an apostate. And if you're an apostate, then you will get shunned, you will get disfellowshipped, and they will not talk to you. And this is coming from a congregation, a, a church, a congregation of people who say they are all about love. And if that were true, then why all the itty bitty teeny little rules? Um, another perfect example the movie Mulan, the Disney G rated movie Mulan. When I was younger, I did not watch any movies. My father had a interesting take on the movies of Star Trek. Aliens don't exist because they're not in the Bible. And because they're not in the Bible, they don't exist. It's a self... It's circular reasoning. The movie move on. There's dragons in it. There's magic in it. There's magic in every Disney movie. Every single one. And that's deemed satanic. Because it's, one, outside of the religion. Two, it's not good, so it is evil black and white. If I was to walk in with this shirt into their into their church, into their kingdom hall, at first, by the people that I know, they'd go, Hey Nathan, how are you? And all loving and concerned and well it's glad to see you in a sort of questioning what is he doing here is he a bad association and then they look at what I wear and in their head go well dragons are evil because they don't exist And to me, that's funny, because who gives them the right to go and deem what is correct and what is not? Who gives them the right to deem what is evil and what is good? They would go and answer that question as Jehovah. And in succession, the governing body through Jesus Christ. That's how the hierarchy works. There is a blur 
in between those three distinct entities because Jehovah says it Jesus said it so we, we the governing body are going to say it and then filter it down I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video that is extremely insightful and I hope you all watch it and I found it myself scrolling through Facebook and YouTube and all that but basically the reason why ex Jehovah's Witnesses do this is to help people that's it if you make your own discernment if you make your own mind up about how you want to do things the way that you want to do them good on you because if the elders of whatever congregation were to go and hear of that then you get questioned and because you have free thought you get scrutinized and when you're in that sort of situation it is extremely difficult to make your own mind up because it is made up for you by the governing body through Jesus Christ because of Jehovah so basically, whatever the governing body says, no matter if it's, we do not accept blood to, okay, well, you can accept blood fractions, and that means white blood cells, platelets, and red blood cells separately, but not blood as a whole. That does not make sense that cost many 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 witnesses lives and that's why they changed the understanding of the blood rule because it was killing off witnesses because they didn't want to go to a doctor they did not want to go to the hospital they did not want to go to the ER and they had cards that said no blood and it was told to them that no don't do this and then the governing body goes oh well wait a minute we're losing members because of this rule let's make a new light and say okay you can accept blood in its three parts but not as a whole and that just does not make sense and that's just one thing like subscribe share comment do whatever you need to do. Black sheep.